okay, wow, this auction's crazy. Um, we've never had so much value, so much new stuff, so much incredible equipment. It is the best auction we've ever had, and that's saying something, because we've had some very good auctions. This is one day, it's gonna be about 500 lots plus by the time we're done. Uh, as of uploading this video, I think we only have maybe 250, maybe 300 lots posted, but uh, there's a lot to come and I'll point out some of it. This is your early video preview. We'll check it out again. The very first thing I want to show you is uh, all this high-end espresso equipment from a uh, coffee shop that never opened. They're just going to call it Full Throttle, so there's like a motorcycle tank and kind of like a backpack travel theme to some of this stuff. And, uh, but the uh, more interesting part is all the brand new espresso equipment. So these, this is a Rover grinder. There's two. This is a major, I believe. Um, and, uh, you know, we've got tons of brand new stuff. We took uh, brand new Rydells out of the Morton Steakhouse. So there's a lot of new equipment, uh, new supplies in there as well. But here's the, uh, here's the beauty, the Slayer 3 group. Um, and then right beside it, a Concordia. Uh, super automatic. This is a twenty-five thousand uh, dollar machine. I think twenty-five, three thousand US actually. And this is a thirty thousand Canadian machine. So Google most expensive coffee machines in the world, espresso machines in the world, and uh, these two are bound to come up, which is uh, crazy. And they're both in the auction, and they're both going to sell to the highest bidder. Um, this is a bulletproof door. I'm hoping we'll be able to get this framed up uh, to see. It was for a cash room. They never installed it. Um, Roll in, true, you may have seen this a few months ago, but we never got in the auction, we actually had to replace the compressor on this thing, even though it's only a few years old, but it's working great now. Um, this is uh, brand new, uh, this is a spec line refrigeration uh, from True, it's the TG1 series Nakamura typical T49 R's and F's, which these are, this one's brand new. Also scratch and dent, you can see it in the hood there. This one's a, a refrigerator, it's just very lightly used. And we got Papa Murphy's Pizza. We got that in for you now. This is the uh, display cabinet, and that's dough sheeter, uh, double pass, and the 60 quart. So beautiful. Uh, it's just too bad it didn't work out between us. I'm a number 22 hub. Um, then we got a nice globe countertop mixer. Uh, we've got uh, fryers here, brand new. We've got brand new Vulcan pump. This is a filter unit. This is just the pump for disposal. We've got Hobart LXI and really nice Scotsman Prodigy. Uh, coming down here, we've got, look at this, brand new Vitamat. We got a couple of these in for a movie studio. And uh, they took a lot of stuff at office, but they kind of saddled us with those. We got rid of one, and now we're just going to blow the other one out in the auction. Um, and then we've got a nice Robocoop R301, uh, check out later, there's an R6 I'll show you. We've got a uh, Hobart 20 quart, we've got uh, brand new coffee equipment, and then this used uh, grinder here. Um, over here we've got a nice 69 inch back bar, this is a nice one with LED lighting. It's still got the installation things on it, but it is actually uh, used. But this is, I think this is the most beautiful thing in the whole auction. It's a Southern Pride smoker and uh do you remember how many chickens this thing does 166 166 chickens it's a, it's massive it was only used for a few months uh by uh oops i closed on the first one uh, it was only used a few months to to cook brisket that is what happens when you have too much money and you let your chef decide what to buy because they didn't even need a quarter of that size and so they only had it for a few months it's like oh my god it's really hard to run a restaurant when you uh, spent three hundred thousand uh, dollars for 40 seats. So anyway, it, they're gone and it's here. This is a brand new Federal Open Merchandiser that's 50 inches wide. Um, we've got lots of nice high-end smalls. This is all from Morton's. Um, this is a sneeze guard down here. I'm just going to step over. You might want to wait there. And uh, yeah, inserts and whatnot. We've got some lockers back here, some refrigeration. This is another brand new scratch dent. This is the T23F. Um, haven't even uh, broken it apart and put the wheels on yet. Uh, same with this griddle, we've got to get that uh, going. This was, um, this is brand new. It was in a store, uh, it was actually in the steakhouse and they never used it. It was in the back in a box, which is amazing. It's the same with that Vulcan uh, uh, filter fryer. They just, it was part of their inventory and they never used it. This is gorgeous. So we got a lot of stuff out of, of uh, Stong's Market. While they were uh, uh, renovating a store, 
they uh, had a, a space that they set up, and they, man, they must have some money because this is actually a $14,000 freezer. This is a spec line freezer. And they look identical to these two, but it, you'll see in the description, um, they are different. Of course, Charleston is the best end user. It is the best you can buy. It's better than True, it's better than Delfield, and they're the only one that I'll say that of. It's better than Beverage Air. <clears throat> Charleston really is the best. And uh, we've got two regular series, and those are still wickedly expensive, Pro but probably half the, the cost of the spec line out of this world. So we got uh, nice Roma coops. Here we've got our brand new cutlery, we're going to fill up these bins with cutlery. We've got some shaping stuff in here, ingredient bins. There's a lot of uh, prep tables. Oh yeah, Stone's Market, that Hobart 80 cord is out of there too. Um, the guy said when we picked it up, I don't even know why they got it. We never used it. It was, it was sitting on the pallet, it was still strapped to the pallet. Presumably they did use it, but I defy you to find uh, any wear on the thing. Uh, they, they had it sitting around for a while, though it was, it was dusty. Uh, this is a brand new uh, stainless custom. You'll see this all through the auction. Um, we got some wolf convection. Are these convection ones? Yeah, there's a, there's a fan in there. Yeah, that's out of Morton's. Uh, Mort no, this is out of Stone's. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, we got some walk in uh, cooler doors. And then on the other side, we've got a bunch of chrome racks. Those are all listed in the sale, those are going to be filled up. Uh, we've got a lot of furniture, as you can see. There's still a lot of small wares that we've, we've taken out of the restaurants that we need to uh, get up on the shelves. There's inserts on there, there's cutting boards, there's poly boxes, uh, heavy wood chairs. I'm not quite sure how we're going to lot those yet. We're probably going to do them in lots of like 24. Uh, the furniture, we still have a truckload of stuff to unload from Morton's. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what's in there, but uh, that's waiting in the wings. We've got more furniture here, those lovely upholstered things. Uh, brand new stainless, never used. This is a large company. They just keep socking it away in a warehouse. Well, maybe we'll get a chance to use it. Not quite right for the purpose. All Quest built. Um, absolute top of the line, welded stuff. It's just dusty, so we'll wipe it up. It's been in their warehouse for a long time. Most of it has, excuse me, has never been used. I just finished lunch. Um, over here is some furniture from the bread garden. Um, you know, over here is some stuff that needs to be cleaned up and uh, maybe won't make it into the auction. Um, some, we got four or five more pallets over here that need to be unloaded, more pallets over here that need to be unloaded, new stuff into the auction. Uh, we're in our retail area now, just come by and see Derek. We have a whole nother warehouse full of equipment as well. So uh, we're gonna be really uh, plugging away at these auctions uh, for the next uh, while. We got more restaurants coming in, we got more leasing returns than we can even handle. So. Um, actually, we're picking up a restaurant this afternoon, a whole, whole nother restaurant. So, uh, yeah, this, this is going to be at least 600 lots and then look for some fast and furious uh, smaller auctions uh, over, over February. Thanks. Bye.